All right, time for the final lesson of level one of the certification, effective communication with AI. In this lesson, we'll be covering some of the best practices for writing and refining prompts. And we're gonna be giving you some tips on how to best communicate with AI, especially if you're troubleshooting some sort of issues that you're facing. These tips are designed to be relevant for any AI tool that you're using, whether it's ChatGPT, Flint, or Claude. First, while prompt engineering is certainly a skill that we can develop together, it's important to not be dissuaded by the complexity of the topic. It's okay to start with an imperfect initial prompt. It's very possible to work with AI to refine your prompt over time, so don't be too worried about starting off with the perfect set of instructions. When it comes to communicating with AI through a prompt, the most important thing to remember is what the AI is lacking in terms of its understanding about you and what you're looking for. The more context and background information you provide AI in a prompt, the better the response will be because it'll be more tailored to what you're looking for. For example, if you're crafting a prompt to create a grading rubric for your students, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you tell the AI about the grade level of your students, the general difficulty level of the content they're working with, and specific elements that you want to be part of the grading rubric. Without that information, the AI will use its best judgment, which again will be an average of the data that it's been trained on. In AI tools like Flint, we've designed the AI to remind you to provide that information automatically. So if you don't give Flint the grade level of your students, it'll nudge you and remind you to provide that information before it makes some sort of content for you. And finally, if you're using AI as part of your workflow, you probably have a specific format in mind. Do you want the AI to respond in bullet points with an executive summary or just with a two or three sentence overview? Give AI what your expectations are and it will do a great job of following those instructions, just like a very diligent teaching assistant. As you read through the rest of this lesson, feel free to save this page as a shortcut of tips to come back to next time you're using AI. One of my favorite tips, for example, is in the troubleshooting section. Number four, ask diagnostic questions. Generally, when I get stuck where the AI is not providing some result that I want it to, where I can't understand why it's responded a specific way that it has, I'll ask it why. Sometimes the AI will actually tell me that some detail of the prompt that I put in caused it to respond in that way. What you'll quickly find is that these tips will be a great starting point for you to know how to communicate with AI, what context and background information to provide it, but over time, your interactive experiences with these systems will be the best learning experience possible to get better at writing prompts. All right, and that's a wrap on level one of the certification. I hope to see you in level two.